Record numbers of students have been given places at university this year after A-level pupils in England, Wales and Northern Ireland got their results today. More than a quarter of the results are A or A-star grades, down slightly on last year, but the overall pass rate has actually risen. Well, so far, 409,000 places have been confirmed at universities. That's up 3% on last year. Our education editor, Branwyn Jeffries, reports for us now from Warrington. The moment of reckoning and relief. Straight onto their phones, texting, chatting on social media. Some had a university place confirmed early this morning, before even arriving to get their grades. Others had to track their application online. Just found out they're being rented a place for a whole university as to do chemistry, so really happy with that. <laughs> There was a 98% pass rate for A-levels overall, with more than 25% getting A or A-star, and a 4.4% rise in students taking maths. More young people are choosing traditional subjects. It can feel like a disaster if you don't get the grades you want, but this year there are more places on offer at university, and of course there are other options too. George and Emily are friends on different journeys. Weighing up more studying and the cost, George is starting an apprenticeship. Emily's heading to uni for a degree sponsored by an employer. Everyone can have the same grades, but if you've got some experience, it, it just puts you that little bit further ahead. So it was a really big factor in deciding where to go and what to do. I didn't think university was for me because you can go into apprenticeships where you get the opportunity to earn while you learn, you'll get your qualifications. Pretty much with those grades, you've got a free hand now. Right. Students have a few days now to consider their options. Some in Warrington were shopping around for places. For the first time, there's no limit on university recruitment, making it a bit easier to bargain for what you want. We've even had students who've been getting one unconditional offer, then going to another university and saying, so-and-so has given me this offer, what are you going to do? Can you match it? Uh, it's been very, very competitive from, from many universities. The busy clearing team at a popular university, they're not planning a massive overnight expansion. I don't think we'll take any more students than we plan to take, and that's an important point because we're not a supermarket. We can't just import the number of students that we like. And we are educating students. To educate students, we need to have well-qualified staff, we need to have cutting-edge facilities, and that all needs to be planned for. They'll borrow huge amounts to go to university. But today, even the numbers going from poorer backgrounds were up. Bramwyn Jeffries, BBC News, Warrington. Well, Radio 1's Newsbeat programme has been asking its listeners to send in their videos from their A-level results day, and here's how some of the students reacted to their results. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Oh. I just want to say for anyone out there who suffers from anxiety in exams or everyday life, you can do it because this is such a huge achievement for me. Oh. Mum! Get an email of confirmation about 11 that I was going to Sheffield it was a bit of a bit of a special moment. It wasn't what I was predicted to get, um, but nevertheless, I'm really pleased with how I've done. I needed ABB to get into Sussex, but I got BBC and they still accepted me, so that's good. So we are going to go out and celebrate this evening. To have a good time, really, with, with my mates. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Some happy students there. Congratulations to all of them.